Uh, I just got to make sure my whole team follows me over to here. Maybe, maybe I can assassinate AHS-9 without arou arousing, arousing suspicion. I don't know the right way of saying that phrase right now. <laughs> because I have the charisma to rehire my team if they end up flubbing things up for me. So first, what I'm going to try to do is... No, no, no. I'll, I'll tell my team to, to hold fast. Stay put. Okay. Everybody's staying put. So, what I plan to do, really quick, since there's a guard literally right there, literally right there standing next to AHS-9, I could... Punch A's S9 in the eyes, which is a guaranteed crit because of my Slayer perk. Uh, run through this door, close it. All in one turn, I believe. I believe I can, because of the amount of AP my character has. And the silent running, or not the silent running, the, the bonus move thing. So we're going to attempt that first. All right, here we go. One punch to the eyes. And it didn't kill him. <laughs> Great. So I think a regular punch will probably kill him. Our plan is already unraveling. I'm going to sneak. Walk down here. And combat has begun. Okay, let's make another attempt. Um, and this time, hopefully, one-shot him. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Why can't I one-shot him? <laughs> Die, AHS-9! Starfather, help me! Now, now, oh my goodness, how much health does this guy have? Like, 150? 120? That took three punches that time! Oh my goodness! Yeah, I think we might have to fight our way out. You know what would be great if we had time for it? Is doing my whole, like, inviting the rest of my team to the Havala's compound and then kicking off a fight? That would be pretty fun. But... I don't feel like migrating all of my dudes over to here. <laughs> so we're not going to do that. I think we'll just make it a normal fight. Because this is not panning out the way I want it to. I could use a super stim method, which would take a lot of super stims on this guy. I could use the explosive method, which has its own drawbacks and downsides. So I'm just going to grab everybody else and put them back on my team. Everybody's back on my team. We're going to properly assassinate AHS-9, and since Marcus was able to catch up, we won't have to worry about him being, you know, down in this area, <laughs> fighting by himself. So, that part's good, too. So, let's do this proper. In the eyes. 106 damage. Very nice. So, if a regular punch... Let's see. He's definitely dead. Uh, So, I did... Yeah, I did 108 or 180, or 178 damage altogether. Pretty good amount <laughs> against HS9. Um, now I'm going to punch this guard in the eyes. It's causing some serious pain. Now let's see if my teammates are going to help me out or if they're going to run off and do their own thing. Because that's, that's one of the things I was wondering about. Um, so after this point, like, after we're able to meet up with the Emperor, like, that's our goal right now, um, then we'll be... Maybe we should finish, like, fixing up the tank or two. Like, just setting setting it up to where we can just head off to the oil platform when we are ready. Because there, I also did want to do the uh, the random encounters that we haven't done yet. Or the special encounters that we haven't done yet. And uh, I, I've been stingy with my um, skill points from previous level ups, but I don't really need to be. And I can bring my outdoorsman skill up to 75 and get the 20% bonus from the motion scanner or motion sensor and have a 95% in outdoorsman, upping that chance greatly of getting those special encounters. So what I'm saying is I want to get those... That guard just walked through a wall. <laughs> These guards are cheating! Don't shoot my mutant. 
just like the old days. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing, Marcus? Because the old days, you, you kind of worked for a cult. This is a cult you're killing. I don't know, man. This might be a little close to home. Maybe. They're not doing much damage to Marcus, and I like that. I don't understand why my other teammates aren't really doing anything, though. Is that Sulik? That's Sulik. That's Juan Cruz. Okay. But Cassidy's not doing anything. Cassidy's kind of brain dead right now. That's fine. Um, groin shot. We haven't punched anybody in the groin in a while. Erp. <laughs> and then the eyes. It's a one-two punch. Groin and then eyeballs. I'd like to imagine I'm stomping their eyeballs, but I don't have... There's no power... There's no power boots. Oh, dude. Oh my goodness. That should be added. That should be added to Fallout. I, I'm into hand-to-hand -hand weapons, but like... There should be power boots. And not just not just ones that, that you know, increase your damage with kicks and stuff like that, but ones that, that have like jump jets and stuff like that. Because jetpacks were already a thing with power armor, thanks to Fallout 4. That well-armed guard is... Dead? Are they alive? They're still alive. Not for long. I'll take care of this, Marcus, my friend. Groin. Dead. <laughs> and turn. I don't know what Juan Cruz is doing. Uh-oh, here comes more guards. Uh-oh. And cultists. Well, Juan Cruz is dead. Totally dead. <laughs> Well, let's go back this direction. I don't know what, what my team is doing currently. Some of them are coming on, coming in this way. So I, it's a split off thing, kind of like the, the raider caves. Don't know how I feel about it. So let's take care of these cultists here, I suppose. What? Why are you? Wait, why are you running? What the heck? Oh, my goodness. This is one of those situations where once somebody is blocking the door, they're going to run the other direction. Is this what we're going to do? Just run back and forth? <laughs> we are the vengeance of the Starfather. Well, if you are, you're not doing a very good job. You guys need power armor. You had a scientist that was specializing in, in hardening power armor, and you don't have a single guard with power armor. I don't think... I don't think you guys are going to do very well. Like, even if you went into space, wear your space suits, huh? <laughs> oh, no. Vicky Goldman. The old bones be eating your soul soon. Sulik, what are you talking about? Are you talking about cannibalism? Are you partaking in cannibalism when I'm not paying attention? We're going to have some words, brother. Brother. <laughs> Reload my fist. I like how they're... I think they're using combat shotguns. And... Oh, what what would that noise be? Would that be a, an assault rifle? Or an FNFAL? FN fall? I still don't know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna get through this entire playthrough and not know the right way to say the name of that weapon. Hello, cultists! How are you? Oh, I need grenades. I'm going to adjust you so hard. <laughs> are you, cultists? Are you? Well, we don't need to have the motion sensor on right now. But we do have grenades! Let's use a couple. Why not? We have them. We should use them! Here you go. Have one. One person is dead. That that did a ton of damage to them because they don't I don't think they have any armor on. 66, 81, and 70. That's so much. These poor cultists. I wish we could convert them back. Cause some of these could have been like some of the she that were just brainwashed. How can we uh how can we unwash their brains? 
I would love to do that. Yep, that cultist is melted. <laughs> a ball just was quickly hitting the left leg for 85 hit points, knocking her over like a bad blind date. Poor, poor cultist. Yep, that one's toast. Are we done? We're done. 5,000 XP. HID has left a kind comment saying, You, Al, and John are the only Fallout YouTubers I enjoy. Keep up the good work. And I'd love to see Punchy in Fallout 3. Well, I can't promise a Punchy build in Fallout 3, but I can maybe hint at a possible Fallout 3 playthrough uh, after sometime after uh, this one occurs because I need to do a return to Fallout 3 at some point because it's been a very long time. The last build was the Vagrant build in Fallout 3 and I was very new at the whole Let's Play thing when I did that. Um, a little bit better at it now at this point, <laughs> both with the editing and the gameplay and commentary. It, across the board, I have improved quite a bit. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving that a shot again sometime in the future. Thank you so much for the kind comment. Okay. Uh, so the guard had a shotgun. I think it was just one of them that had a shotgun. That was actually a Pancor jackhammer. I didn't bother picking it up because I had plenty of things to sell and plenty of money already uh, because I took my money back from this guy. Um, Crockett is not hostile, though, it seems like. So I guess let's speak to Crockett. It says, hey, I got no beef with you. Just don't hurt me. Okay, bye. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna leave Crockett alive. He did a good deal. Got us, got us some hardened power armor, and, and I was able to get money back from him. Okay, so this is a situation that becomes a bit annoying, because I don't think, I don't think I can actually punch these shield emitters. I think I have to use my skill and repair to disable them. Um, to get out, <laughs> basically. Which is not one of my favorite things to do. But I think our repair skill is pretty good, actually. Let's let's do that point point adjustment right now. So we'll put up outdoorsman to 75. We don't need it to be any higher than that. And then we'll up the repair skill a little bit. Just so just so it's easier to um get through these these barriers. Cause I I these things annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot. Let's actually take out this guard in this room first. Here we go. Hello, guard. Nice to wreck you. Done. You guys can't do anything about it. You can't do a gosh dang thing. What else is happening? Yeah, they're just in there. I can't wait. Can I not? Who else is alive? There we go. <laughs> that was stupid. Be really annoying if, if like I just broke it entirely and like couldn't do the rest of the fight. Man, I hope that doesn't happen. Now that I've said something, I'm kind of worried. Okay. Initiate combat. Run in here. Hello, guards. Hi. Eyes and eyes. Are you blind? I sure hope so. I have dirty energy. That's rude. That's super rude. Why would you say that? Couldn't be because I'm trying to wipe you out. Couldn't be that. <laughs> I think it's another one with a, a Pancor jackhammer. They're, they're being, like... They're being very thrifty with their ammo, though. They're not desperate enough to survive. Because they're not using burst shot with their Pancor jackhammers. Who else is hostile? Oh, there is a guard there. Um, okay, well. Come on, then. Is that the only guard left? Hurry up! Get on in here! Let's have a party! <laughs> I like, we're, we're just gonna wait for them. Then Marcus is gonna be like, hey! 
How's it go? Oh, Marcus got hit critically in the right leg. Is he okay? He's severely wounded. I'm, I'm going to probably throw a heal on him really quick. And the shield went back up. Right in the nick of time. Why can they still shoot through the shield? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm not trying to punch Marcus. <laughs> I almost did too. Super stim pack. And then I messed with the force field for some reason. So now I'll go over here. Please stop shooting Marcus. Please die. Take a long time dying. Marcus, you need to crit more, my friend. And I need to actually hit things sometimes. Uh, yeah, so I don't like that he can shoot through that force field. I guess, I guess Marcus can too, so that's fine. This will still work out. Marcus is going to take a lot more collateral, though, because of it. Because I can't reach this guy who's behind the force field. It was just a waiting game. Until he went out like the old Private Dobbs. Rest in peace, Private Dobbs. Back in Sierra Army Depot. Um, okay, I think that means we've cleared the place out, minus Crockett. So we can go. There might be the guys that- we might have to fight the guys up here too. I don't think so though. Unless we really want to. Well, it doesn't seem like my weapon fully reloaded. Like, it looks like there's a tiny gap there. I'm splitting hairs a little bit. Hello! Enemies of Enlightenment! That's me. Oh no! I am an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Where's Cassidy? Is that why he was brain dead? He just didn't go with us? Oh, dang it. Yeah, the guy melted. No wonder this has taken so long. Cassidy wasn't even with us. I have to go back downstairs and get Cassidy. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> That's funny. I swear I grabbed him. I swear I was like, hey, let's let's all let's all go together again. Dang it. <laughs> he says, good thing I'm already sterile. And then he dies. Yep. Good thing, huh? Yep, yep. So is that is that a, a standard for Hobologists? Do they sterilize themselves too? Or is that just because of the radiation? Or FEV or something. Along those lines. I'm just killing them off. Just making sure everything's everything's done and good and golden here. Another Pancor Jackhammer. Look at that. Um, I would like to go get Cassidy back. I need to mess with the forest fields yet again. Here we go. Marcus is going to be in the way, isn't he? Disable it. Thank you. Disable this one. Come on. There we go. And disable this one. Thank you. Cassidy! What are you doing back here, bud? Can you please come with us? <laughs> I swear, I told you to come along, and you didn't. So come here, sir. Let's go. You look like you got enough of a crowd already. What? Wait, why? I don't, though. It's only Marcus and Sulik. Oh! Oh, I just didn't read it. I need to put the shades on. That's what it was. Whoops. Let's go. Let's head out. That's what it was. Okay. <laughs> now we're on the same page. Kato should read once in a while. You know, words that are on screen. Should look at them, comprehend them. Make sure he knows what's going on. And then... Proceed with the plan that was intended. That's what Kato should do. Sometimes, Kato just blasts through dialogue without realizing what he was clicking on. That was the very, very same situation that just happened, just now, after we slaughtered all the Hibalists. A special thanks to those supporting me on Patreon, including Wasteland Legends Sven and David Hoover. You can catch future episodes of this playthrough on Wednesdays and Fridays, noon and 10am Pacific. Thanks so very much for watching, I'm Kato Genesis, 
and may you wander the wasteland like you own it. <laughs>